Hello everyone. Today I will show you how to write a C++ program to convert hexadecimal value to binary value and then back. Below is a conversion table that I will be using for reference. As you can see from the left to right, we have the actual hex value, hexadecimal value, the binary value, and the associated decimal value. Please study this table carefully. Okay, so let's begin writing the program to convert hexadecimal value to binary and then back. Okay, so let's create the program using Visual Studio Code. Create a new file and let's call it bin2hex.cpp. Okay, and then we begin including include IO stream include string include map and then declaring using namespace standard. We're going to create a function called hex to bin okay and in the hex to bin function we will be converting the hex string to the actual binary string declare int i equal to zero we're going to create a map table to map between the character and the actual uh, binary string. So map char to string table equal to its associate value. So first off we have 0. So 0 will be mapped to 0, 0, 0 like we what we see before. And then one will be mapped to zero 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 one. So as soon as we finish creating the map table, then we type in string equal quote. So initializing it, then in our while loop. We say while hex decimal i, we're going to do the conversion. So string plus equal to table to upper hex des i. Okay. Now that we finish creating the function to convert hex hexadecimal to binary we're going to create another function to convert binary to hex okay so similar to the hex to bin function we need to implement a bin to hex function create the prototype string bin to hex string bin data then below is the actual implementation the, we also need to create a map table and the map is the inverse of hex to bin and as you can see uh, 0, 0, 0 is mapped to 0. 0, 0, 0, 1 is mapped to 1 and etc up to F So to finish our uh, function bin to hex, we need to create 
uh, two variable so this is a string that we're going to be returning back from our conversion and then bin string is our temporary um, variable we do a loop basically for int i equal to zero i less than bin data length i plus plus and uh, you can see that we're creating this temporary um, variable here okay uh, so basically every four character uh, we do a conversion and then uh, concatenate last but not least we also need to return back the string that we converted and that should complete uh, the bin to hex function that we wrote. Okay, so to finish our main, um, we basically create the main, we initialize our hex sedecimal string. We're going to ask the user to enter here. So do a get line C in the actual hex desk. Then um, this is the conversion, right? We're calling hex to bin into the hex hex decimal variable here, and this is our out string that is converted from uh, the hex to bin function, which is up here. Okay and um, we do an out string okay see out out string and an end line so last thing we want to do is convert the hex I'm sorry bin back to hex hexadecimal and that we can compare against what we entered from the line above and that should complete our program. So now it's time to compile a code. So to do this, um, we just type in GCC G plus plus dash standard equal C plus plus fourteen and the program's name, which is bin to hex CPP. okay so let's check out the output for the program let's convert a hex string so we say 2f 2d okay and here's the actual binary value for 2f 2d and then we convert back it's actually 2f 2d as well and let's check another one so let's say 0e 2f 3d 4e uh, a1 and as you can see this is the hex string and its binary value and then when it's converted back this is a, what it looks like which is equal to what we see from above